Hey guys, Juzo here from Kage Shinobi Games. In this video you will see how the computer running next to me was built. The main components installed are the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 current generation CPU. The motherboard is the Asus Prime X570P. Now you can get a cheaper motherboard and save a few bucks, but the reason I went with this one is to make my rig somewhat future proof. The GPU I used is the AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT, very solid GPU with good cooling, three fans and solid backplate. It's the gaming OC edition you want if you want this one. The case I used for this build is the Fantax P400A digital case or ARGB case. It comes pre-installed with three RGB intake fans in the front. It has mesh front panel, so it has excellent air cooling potential, very good airflow, but it lacks exhaust fans, any exhaust fans. So if you may need to invest in some exhaust fans. Other than that, it has a tempered glass side panel that is very good. It's pretty thin, thinner than the one I had previously in another case, but it's very good. So let's get to building it. I mean, let's get to the building part of the video it's, as it's already been built. We got the power supply, the GPU, motherboard with the cooler, motherboard cooler setup. Uh, we got this, the new case here. Now, what I, I've done so far is I've prepared the cable, like a sort of pre-cable management. First thing I want to do uh, to get started is take the side panel off, uh, the glass, tempered glass side panel. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. taken the glass panel off I have already put some of the cables through that will I know on the motherboard where they will plug into so I know which hole to feed them through on the most left side on my motherboard there will be a HD audio header I ordered some uh, splitter cables that will help us connect all five uh, case fans to the motherboard. For now, I'm gonna mount one of these fans and I'm gonna connect two of the front fans to the motherboard for now, maybe just one, cause I'll end up disconnecting it to put it into a splitter anyway. I hope you guys can follow. Here from the front, there's a USB 3 connector. There are some USB 3 sockets here. They connect to the motherboard. So that's a fast USB connection. The, the USB 3 connector, again on the motherboard, is just under the 24 pin connector. So that will, uh, that's the lowest one. So I probably, if I feed it through here, plug it in and then pull the slack out very carefully. Now, The fan cables are coming through here. Another pro tip, take the front panel off. You don't need it on. And according to the instruction manual, the one thing that it was useful for, pull it from the bottom to take off the front panel. Oh, 
Okay guys, I'm back. So this is a very important, uh, this part of the build. This is where you sort out all your cables. And if you're like me, you want the one that's going to the right, being fed through the hole, to be on the right side. And you want to sort of separate them, RGB cables, fan header cables, power cable that's powered through SATA and it's, it uses a, a SATA daisy chain that will also power the hard drive. So in a minute I will put in the hard drive as well. I hope you get a good view of this. Another pro tip, while routing these cables, have the motherboard there in the orientation where it's straight to you and upright, so you see where the cables are going to come through. And that way you know how to pre-cable manage the case here. Can you see? So I'm looking at here where to feed the cables through and then how they are on the mother on the motherboard okay so okay so what I decided to do as the top fan obviously has the longest uh, slack what I decided to do is uh, we'll have that plugged in and I'll install a rear exhaust fan and have that plugged in for now and I'll probably install the top one but that will not get be plugged in yet until I get the fan splitters tomorrow uh, so the first thing I want to do I'm, I'm gonna start installing components and the next thing in terms of uh, pre-cable management is the power supply the power supply uh, last thing I'm gonna do is plug in the, the GPU cable as I already have a GPU I know which uh, how many um, you know how many pins it's gonna connect to okay so installing the power supply as we can see on the bottom there is a dust filter so it's gonna be facing down and power supply installed now the last part of our cable pre-cable management of course is now as now we got power supply cables vital ones so let's just put this audio header through now we know the 24 pin connector has to go through there connects on the motherboard on the right side from the inside so it's our left now ah. end up above the USB 3.0 and then our CPU power connector okay so now we install the power supply and as you can see, 
I put many of the cables in their positions. So we got CPU cable routed, uh, routed and uh, uh, 24 pin. Uh, let's just pop this IO shield in there. Uh, usually the mouse uh, connector is on the top, the sound is on the bottom. So let's connect it. I mean, click it into click it into place. Okay, IO shields installed. All right. Next thing I want to install is the hard drive here, so I can do a bit of pre. Uh, cable managing here as well. Lined up on the other side now, this is installed. All we need is to connect the cables. Well, slot it into place. Is the Barracuda 6 terabyte, basically the cheapest 6 terabyte out there that I could find. It was discounted from 130 pounds sterling to like a hundred quid. Oh. And then later on I can install another one here if I want to. But for now, let's just plug it in. SATA connectors, should it face down or up? Okay, I think there is not much else to do than install the motherboard. So now to install the motherboard, I'm gonna flip the case and most of the PC builders who are much more experienced than me, they don't do it for some reason, but me being a newbie, that's the best way for me. So that's how I'll do it. Another pro tip I learned on LTT, Linus Tech Tips, is that you should connect the some of the connectors before installing the motherboard but one thing i should have done put on the anti-static cord and hopefully i've not broken anything on my motherboard yet Now connect the sound action. So uh, we've connected the power and reset buttons, audio, first the 24 pin. That's connected. Then connect the USB 3.0 cable. and start putting some screws in, motherboard screws. Perfect, now the motherboard is in. Now it's in the CPU power cable. Can we plug that in? It's a bit short. The 
CPU cable plugged in. And now this fan uh, RGB control, I want to plug onto an RGB header, but I don't want to go under the GPU. So I'll, I am trying to go behind the case next to the CPU power connector here. Not sure if you can see. Lay it down again. Lay it down. Just turn it the right way. A little arrow shows where the 12 volt connector should be. So it will be like this. Oh, now we can plug in the addressable RGB. And this will connect the fans RGB to the motherboard, which is compatible with Aura Sync. So we can use Aura Sync. Aura Sync. I won't rest until I break something really expensive in my case. <laughs> so now pull the slack back. But not too much of it. And I'll use uh, a zip tie there. This fan is killing me. Okay, we'll have the splitters very soon. An update on the build. So I had to, after installing the motherboard, I realized I needed to bring the power connector for the GPU. But there is no hole here to push it through. So it needs to go through under the motherboard. But when it's screwed in, there is not enough space to put either this end or even the 8-pin end through under the little hole. So I had to unscrew the motherboard, pull it out, push it through and then put it back, screw it back on. So it was very difficult. So I made another change as the USB 3.0 cable was quite high here and interfering I think with the GPU once the GPU is installed. I decided to move it down here. I decided to connect the fan to the top connector and just quick cable manage it on top here <coughs> just tie it down <coughs> this is just a temporary measure and then the rear fan I'll probably guide the cable down here and connect it from the back let's see is there a fan open this is gonna be an exhaust fan so it doesn't need a dust filter. Before the GPU, let's install our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card.
to uh, stabilize the Wi-Fi card. Connect the GPU power connector so it's a6 and an 8 okay power is connected all right wow came a long way we have to use splitters and what they do is you can plug two fans in to plug into one fan header on the fan connector on the motherboard. So two, two and one we can use single. Now we might have to use one of these as extension if it's not long enough, but I'll try to use one that's long enough. Yesterday, um, because I couldn't spend another day without my PC I connected the top fan to the motherboard and I got these uh, dust filters for the intake fans you don't need them on the exhaust fans because they blow air out so they're not gonna suck uh, dust in dust particles in so these two others I'll have to install on the bottom two fans which will now be hooked up and active and since I ordered these I thought I might as well get some RGB strip that is gonna be on the top of the case on the glass side on the side panel side to illuminate the case because I found that it was not uh, lit up enough um, because the I connected all the RGB fans so they were all lit up but only one was running okay so what I need to do before I get started oh and there's also one more fan to connect uh, so I'll have to pop the side panels off and then we can get started okay Jews are here I'm back oh, I've just been through an ordeal okay it was not very hard but it was tedious uh, you see I got this RGB strip for my new build and uh, but it came with one of these uh, Mo Molex I think it's called a Molex extension so you are meant to connect the RGB strip to this and then somehow to the power supply won't be using that so I had to go dig out my old case that I put back into its box and get that has an RGB strip that was connected to the motherboard onto an RGB header just what I need so I just got that and I'm gonna have to order another one later on but for now <laughs> problem solved I'm so excited so uh, part of the purpose of this RGB strip is to illuminate my amazing setup to illuminate the, the, the my setup I'm gonna install it on this top side and it's a bit long oh and I'll use this uh, extension lead that's a male to female RGB to hook it up so the male I will connect it to there so the 12 volt is the one with the I don't know if it's let's see come on the male I don't know if you can see the arrow that's the 12 volt one on the connector so connect it yes and now 
this is going to go down behind the motherboard where the cables are so I'm going to cable manage this behind the motherboard and then come up there there's an RGB header on the bottom and that's where I'll plug this into Okay guys, I'm back. So I managed to plug it in there. The RGB header. I aged like five years. But let's carry on. So the yesterday, because I wanted to get on my computer and play for like 20 minutes as much as I had left before going to bed. Even now we are approaching midnight. So without further ado, I connected the top fan there and the rear exhaust fan down there and what I'm gonna do is change the fans around I think I'll that uh, I'll definitely unplug rear exhaust fan So I ended up changing my mind guys. Uh, I did install the extra fan as an intake from the top. The idea I got from Gamers Nexus. I might regret it, I might not. I better turn towards light. I'm just doing cable managing back here. So I'll just pause the video. I think this is pretty interesting. If I'm wrong, leave in the co leave it in the comments. And I decided the top fan cable to bring it down, uh, connect it to an extension. But then, is it not a problem if I'm putting two extensions through there? There's no rule against it. I think. So let's just do it. We finally arrived to finishing touches. Voila! It's not my best work, but uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, adding those dust filters for the front fans. Like I said, I don't think the mesh front is enough to act as a dust filter as well. I think dust will get through there, but then these uh, dust filters should uh, stop the dust getting through. So the case inside won't be as dusty. Plus, uh, we have a lot of, uh, you know, air intake fans. So if it reduces the intake airflow is not such a bad thing
the socket. Let's hope this doesn't short anything because I messed up something. This will be the longest moment of my life. Okay, starting it up. For the first time, after connecting all the fans. Okay, guys. What? <laughs> so now it's time to start this beast of a machine. And if everything works fine, I'll peel it. Okay, let's do it. Yes. Yes! Yes! <sighs> okay, let's turn off the lights. Turn off the lights, turn off the lights. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now, the last thing to do It's a historical moment. So it's time to build the film. Yay! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, pushing over the tripod, it's done, RGB sync, everything is compatible with Aura sync, including the RGB strip, perfect, so thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you on the next video, please like, share and subscribe.